Hey everyone, Kevin here. What I'd like to do in this video is show you how you can create a Windows boot drive using either a DVD burner or a USB flash drive. Now Microsoft has made this process very, very simple, but I will go through every step just to clarify exactly what you need to do. I would say that for the vast majority of people, a USB flash drive is easier and it's more practical. You can use a DVD burner as well if you wish, but you will find that most PCs and most laptops don't have a DVD burner and going down that route is a little bit more time consuming because you have to create an ISO file and then you need to burn it etc. It's just a little bit easier using a USB flash drive and all you need to do is make sure that the USB flash drive is 8 gigabytes in size or higher. Now why would you want to create a Windows boot drive? Well the two main reasons are installation and repair. You can use this boot drive to install Windows on a fresh computer, a fresh whatever setup you're doing, PC, laptop, mining rig, whatever you're doing. If you're creating a fresh computer, a new computer, and you want a fresh installation of Windows, this is how you do it very easily. You can also use it to repair your Windows installation. And anyone who's ever used Windows will know that from time to time, an upgrade goes wrong, an installation goes wrong, an app messes up, and your Windows setup just doesn't work right. And when that happens, what you need to do is either reset Windows or repair Windows. And that is very easy to do when you have a Windows boot drive because you can put it in and you can see a lot of troubleshooting options that you can repair the installation or create a new installation of Windows. So if we jump over to the browser here, you can see in the background, I've got microsoft.com forward slash en hyphen gb forward slash software hyphen download. Now, I will create a uh, put links to these pages I'm going to show you in the description area and you will find that if you go to whatever region you are in the world it will change so if you're in America this would maybe change to en-us doesn't really matter now you can see you've got Windows 10 Windows 8.1 Windows 7 I'm going to be showing you Windows 10 and I've got the same page there we've got it here and what you need to do is download this tool Windows 10 installation tool you see it here, mediacreationtool.exe. But I have saved some time and I have downloaded it already. So at this point, what I'm going to do is put my USB flash drive in. As you can see, it's getting a few things ready. Agree to the terms. I've heard a little noise there saying that the drive is there. And this is in real time, you can see exactly what is happening here. It isn't time consuming at all, it's very, very quick. Um, so you've got an option here to upgrade this PC. This is just part of the, the media tool. But what we want to do is create installation media, USB flash drive, DVD or ISO file. We've got English United Kingdom, Windows 10, 64 bit. That's all good. So I'm going to choose USB flash drive and you can see there it needs to be at least eight gigabytes. And if you create an ISO file, you then need to burn it to a DVD later. So you'd have to know how to do that. That's why I was saying, again, the USB flash drive is a lot simpler. And you can pick up USB flash drives for just a few pounds. Very, very cheap. So it's found my flash drive there. That's it, pretty much. What it's going to do now is install Windows onto the flash drive. So there you have it, after about 5 to 15 minutes, the USB flash drive is ready. And what I can do now is bring up File Explorer and I can eject the USB flash drive and that's it ready. As you have seen, creating a Windows boot drive is very, very simple. And at this point, you should have a USB flash drive that has Windows on it. Now, if you plug this into a brand new computer, it should, in most situations, boot to this USB boot drive. Windows will recognize that it's there and it will go to the installation process. Sometimes it doesn't. If it doesn't, what you need to do is go into the BIOS area. Now, for 99% of computers, that is either delete or F2. But when you switch on your computer, you will see the instructions to do either or. It will say enter DEL or enter F2 to enter BIOS. When you're in the BIOS area, you need to go to the boot area 
uh, sometimes in the home page and sometimes there's a dedicated page with advanced menus but essentially what you want to do is change the boot sequence and you change the boot sequence so that the USB flash drive is number one or the DVD drive is priority number one and what that means is you're making the boot drive the first thing that the computer looks for to boot up to load up and it'll go to this boot drive and then it'll start loading up Windows the Windows installation setup so all you have to do delete or F2 go into the BIOS when you're in the BIOS make your USB flash drive or your DVD drive the number one boot and then make sure you save and exit normally that's F10 but again some motherboards do it a little bit differently when you do that the computer will restart and it will go straight to the Windows installation process it's very very simple guys if you have any questions about any of this please do leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer them or point you in the right direction and if you've enjoyed the video please do consider subscribing sharing liking or leaving a comment thanks for watching guys and until next time take care